Binance Futures Trading Tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can do futures trading using Binance. What are the different features and tools we get in order to do trading in futures on Binance. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I just want to clarify that I am not a financial advisor and this video is for general information and educational purpose only. Futures trading is highly risky and is not recommended for inexperienced traders. Never risk money you can't afford to lose. That being said, let's get into the tutorial. The link for Binance is given in the description down below. Click on the link and you will land on this platform right here. Binance is world's leading cryptocurrency platform that allows you to buy, sell and trade in cryptocurrency. Today, I will show you that how we can do futures trading on Binance. The option is available and we get a lot of different options, all the tools that we need in order to do trading. Before we get into the video, I just want to clarify that this video is not a financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. Trading in cryptocurrency involves a high degree of risk or rather you afford to lose your money. So before you get into trading, make sure that you truly understand it and you have complete understanding. So that being said, let's get started. Once you click on the link given in the description down below, you will be able to sign up. The signing up process is really easy. You can click on register and then we can sign out with our phone number or email address. We can also sign out with our Apple or Google. So if I sign out with my phone or email, then I could just simply go ahead and select the residence, confirm, and then you click on create personal account enter your email address and password, verify your email address, then enter your phone number and verify your phone number as well. So th that's it. Once you do that, you will get your own dashboard on Binance and you will be able to do futures trading. After the initial sign up or sign in to your Binance, this is where you will get this is our dashboard. The link for Binance is given if you want to get your own dashboard and follow me along with this tutorial. Go ahead and sign up right now with the link given in the description. It's very easy for you to sign up with the link. Uh, once you you know get into Binance, then I will show you how to do futures trading. So you can actually go to Binance futures as well. If you go to binance.com slash futures, then you will be able to check out the trade crypto futures and you can see we have different options. We have USD and futures and coin futures available on Binance. So either you can go ahead and separately sign up for futures or if you have signed up with the process I showed you, you will get your own dashboard and in here we will go to derivatives and in derivatives you will find your USD and futures and coin futures. So we have two futures right here available. Let's check out the USD and future because a lot of people will be going with this one it's more easier and we kind of like settle the contracts in usd once you open it up it will take you to your binance futures and here we will be able to access all the features and tools so once you open up binance futures then this is our usd you know futures so the first step is of course selecting the coin from here and you can actually select from different usdc and i'm gonna go ahead and select this one right here which is the ethereum one you will select your perpetual from here and this is the live price shown here we have mark we have index funding and countdown 24 hour change 24 hour high 24 hour volume in ethereum and then we have 24 hour cap this is the graph that we get right here for our trading this is the look of any kind of trading on Binance, even if you do spot trading, you will get this graph. So with graph, we get a lot of different views. We can go ahead and select the time from here. We can go with a 15 minute, one hour, four hour, one day or one week. I personally go with one day mostly because then you kind of like have an idea that what's happening throughout the day. And you can see this is our graph for this coin right here. And it actually went pretty high. 
So the high was 358. Okay, so it was 3580. That was the top high for today. But right now we are at um, 1472. So it's kind of like going really down throughout the day. And you can get an idea that what is the value of our trade right here. This is the original graph. We can go with a trading view as well. So if, if I switch to a trading view, then you will be able to get a point of view from trading because we're doing futures trading okay we kind of like want to get a surety that what's going to happen with this perpetual in future this is really important factor in future trading and if you understand future trading then you will have a better idea that how we can actually uh you know secure our future trading on our coins when it comes to the trading view we get a lot of different tools here for us to mark right here on the graph because it's really important so if i want to mark the highest value right here i can use this marker i can use the arrows i can use text i can use tails i can use anything i brushes to kind of just add right here and i can determine what's happening and i can mark my uh, different values to track uh, what i am going to do so this is our order book right here and you will be able to check your size price and sum if we scroll down then we also get a bar graph right here and it is actually in according to different months we have positions open order history trade history transaction history and assets they will everything will be shown here if your account is brand new and you have no history then it will be empty of course then we have margin ratio right here and assets so this is how you can go with a usd future so let's go to coin and in coin then our of course our trading view will change so i am going with coin m perpetual so this is the look of our coin m it's very similar to the look of our usd m uh, you can uh, again select a perpetual from here and now we are on coin m you can see and i can select any of these different perpetual or quarterly whatever i want to go for you can also check their 24 hour uh, you know value and this is again original view i can go with a trading view and we can also get a depth view if we want to so if i go to depth view this is our depth view View and it it shows us a graph and we can actually get a depth view according to the prices uh not just time so it is going to be according to the prices then of course we can expand let's go back to trading view in trading view again we're getting our technical indicators display settings bars um, and candles we can snapshot we can compare so that's really good what i can do is i can click on this compare option and i can actually compare this pricing right now and i have just randomly selected this perpetual you can go with any of these and if you want to you have a you know perpetual in mind and you have a coin in mind you can go ahead and sign up for binance right now and get to binance futures the link is given in the description down below it's the easiest way to sign up for binance and you will be able to um, do future trading really easily so you simply just enter the company for comparison or you can also add a symbol once you have added it right here then you will be able to compare it again we have our order book and if we go down again we will be getting our margin ratio assets everything will be shown here and now i will actually take you back to my dashboard and i'll show you that where we can actually see all of our future that we have actually saved our future trading our insights i take you back to my dashboard so right now when we are on our dashboard i can go to futures and it will show me my balance in future so if you want to check your balance in future you can just go ahead and do that you can also create a again a create an account on futures if you want to separately we have to do that and you can just click on open now you will be able to create your brand new account with the account that you already have on binance the link is given in the description down below click on the link and you will be able to do future trading on binance i showed you how to do coin m and usdm future trading it's really easy to use and you will be able to trade in your favorite perpetual or quarterly uh, whatever you want to select make sure that you truly understand everything and then binance will make it easy for you to trade in futures the link is given in the description down below i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to do futures trading on binance don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel